All right, good stuff. Hi, everybody. Good morning. I'm um, depending on where you're coming in from. Almost afternoon. Um, I'm Daphne Oz. I am a television host, an author, a natural food chef, and a mama of four and a wife. John, John, John will want me to add that too. Um, and I'm so excited to get to chat with everybody today with my friend Ruby Dubery here in my home. Um, <laughs> Ruby is a well, we should start with she could be so many things, but she is a pharmacist, she is a personal chef, and she's also on the nutrition team with Persona Nutrition. And we are going to chat today about revealing our future selves through healthy habits that are easy to stick with starting today. It's a question that we get a lot with our Persona customers is, you know, how they're having issues building habits, they're having issues sticking to taking their vitamins. Yes. And they come to us and they're like, hey, I love the I love the supplements, but I'm having trouble taking them. Yeah. How can we get, you know, how can I help this? And um, our team at Persona loves this little thing called habit stacking. Okay. Uh, it's a little habit trick, stacking. habit stacking. Uh, and it goes like this. So you take the habit that you're trying to build. Yes. And then you, so for example, like taking your vitamins, and then you attach it to a behavior that you're doing already without even thinking. Mm. So it can be anything, anything you can think of that you're doing daily. Um, so for example, taking your breakfast or, you know, writing down your list for the day, and then you stack it. So you take your bite, your, you have your breakfast or you do your morning routine. You take your supplements right afterwards. Okay. Or if it's at the end of the day, you finish working, close your computer down, put on your shoes and you go for that walk. So by doing that, by stacking something that you're trying to make onto something that you're already doing, you're kind of chunking it together, yes. stacking it together, <clears throat> and then you can be more successful in that behavior that you're trying to change. This is very clever because you are at going back to that alphabet soup moment. When you meander, like when you, when you leave that lag period, you close your computer yes. and then you're like, I want a snack. Like, do yeah. I, should I make that phone call? I should make this appointment. Like, you get so distracted. You're never going to get to your walk. But, right. but get, when your brain knows, now I put on shoes. Like, right. then, yeah. then you actually can make it happen. Oh, I like this. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a good habit sandwich. Yes, habit like stacking. I okay. like that good <laughs> habit sandwich. There's one thing that I used to do. It's not a daily. Yes, you know, it's not daily, but it's something that I had done to get back into a habit. So when I was in, around 20, going back to colleges, yes. but that's when I started it, I started fasting and it wasn't to lose weight. I found that after I fasted, my brain felt sharper Yeah, um, and it helped me to get out of like bad eating habits that I would inevitably fall into. So I would pick one day out of the first week of every month okay. to, to fast per day. After I had my daughter, after I had Taylor, um, I just, I fell into the habit. I was pregnant. I couldn't do it. And I struggled to get back into doing it and, and then you have the guilt though. or like the frustration, frustration. of not having a guess not I doing what you had already been able to exactly. do exactly i had been doing it for years at that point i enjoyed it and i had struggles getting back to it so what i did was um i used to get regular massages i used to have a lot of that pain yeah um, after i had her and i did the massages because i even though i'm a pharmacist i always try non-medication methods mm -hmm. to you know attack on my problems first so i used to get these massages and i thought hey why don't I stack my fast on the day that I would get my massage? Mm -hmm. So I created this whole wellness date, which then kind of, just like you said, it became fun. It, I, became, I look forward to it because I turned it into what I call these Ruby wellness days. I like <laughs> it. I like it. I did. And so I would do my, I would start the day with my fast. I had my juice and everything right on the table. I would do my massage and I'd end the night with like a face mask or like you're a 30 minute, like dreamy. You said. Yes. Oh, so and I nice. still do it. I just did it last week and I feel my brain's so sharp. <laughs> Her brain is so sharp. She looks like this. I, the whole thing. Yeah. How old is your daughter? She's 15. She has a 15 year old. I do. I do have a 15 year It's working. <laughs> <laughs> Once a month. But you're, I know, but you're, I, I, that goes back to it. Like yeah. making it joyful, making it fun. Yes. Making something you look forward to instead of dread. Like that is my goal for everything we do to take care of our health. We, I think we get mixed messages sometimes that, that health is punitive or mm -hmm. healthy eating is punitive. Healthy living is is um, depriving yourself of the way you want to live. And I, I like so radically disagree with this, A, because I, I actually love healthy food and, and I, I'm, I, I also love butter and bread and, and all <laughs> kinds of things, but I view them in unison. Like those, my indulgent moments are as much a part of my healthy lifestyle as my clean eating moments because they fuel each other. And um, 
and they provide balance and they make my body feel great. And that's, that's the thing that I choose to focus on is like, if I'm, if I'm doing something hopeful and repeatedly, Mm -hmm. hopefully it's because it's either making me happy or it's making me feel great. And I think that's why I want so badly for people to feel like they're like those finding ways to make that a healthy choice, feel fun, joyful, um, that's something you anticipate with, with great, like excitement exactly. and not dread yes. is going to be game changing for yes. how long we stick, how long-term we stick with our things. Exactly. There are a couple, and just like you, I wrote them down just because you know, <laughs> those, those holes that we talk about, <laughs> those progressive holes, but our team at Persona had a couple of, we talked to some of our nutritionists and they had some great tips in terms of like how to create habits. Oh, so awesome. I, I just wanted to mention that because they're so awesome. You might be, um, you know, persons might find them very useful. Awesome. So one attack, one habit is to tackle your most daunting task first thing in the day that you okay. won't, so that you won't regret it. You just get it out of the way. So you don't think about it too much. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, it's so bad. I think when you're a procrastinator, that is a particularly yes. uniquely difficult thing because you're you are putting off the one thing you need to do and crowding out, yes. crowding out with lots of, you're dreading it. You're dreading it. Which yeah. You're so right. Get it off your plate and then yeah. you can avoid dreading it. Yes. I'm going to try it. Oh, I'm going to be honest. I writing it down. Writing it down. I'm going to type it out. Yeah, literally. Do but. hard thing first. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, visual cues. I like that one. Set up a visual cue for the thing that you're trying to remember, like a post-it note or so, you know, I talked about earlier in terms of the habit stacking, you, you know, you make a breakfast and then you grab your supplement. What I do first is to actually take the box and put it right where I can see it Mm -hmm. so that I don't forget, because I do want to take my, um, my supplement right after I had something to eat. Right. Um, But I don't want to forget. So to even help that along, I put a visual cue right there. I find that super helpful. I like that. Yes. (laughs) It's really good to know. Mm-hmm. Actually, you can do that in the, like, if you're trying to make healthier eating habits happen too, you can do that in your, you can literally put like post-it notes. So when you open your, cause you see what you see first kind of, and that's what you're like the brain fixates on. And, and honestly, things that are hidden in the back of your fridge, you forget you even have them. Yes. So if you put post-it notes in the front of your fridge. So when you open it, looking for a snack and your post-it note says carrots with hummus or like, right. you know, whatever apples with almond butter, your brain immediately wants the path of least resistance. It wants the easiest idea. And then you have a great, healthy idea ready to go. Exactly. I love that one. 